Hello and welcome to this video of guide for new Canadian immigrants. Today we shall discuss the steps new immigrants can follow in order to prepare for their first landing in Canada. Here is a checklist of all documents that you need to keep with you in the carry-on luggage. These documents should be easily accessible to you as you may have to present them at various points during your immigration process. Presented here is a non-exhaustive list of mobile apps that you should download. Depending on the province you land in, some or all the apps may be available. It is advisable to research which apps are available in your province of choice. One important aspect of the pre-boarding list are photographs. Many new immigrants get their photos rejected for one reason or another. What did here are some of the photograph specifications that you should follow to prevent rejection by the Canadian authorities. These specifications need to be followed strictly in order for your photographs to be accepted. The PR card printing process has measures to check specifications and even a slight deviation can cause the photos to be rejected. Listed here are some common reasons for rejection of photographs submitted at the time of entry. If the photos you submit for PR card are rejected, you can get new photos clicked at a Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart near you. These stores have preset formats available and you just need to tell them that you need photographs for PR cards. You need to send them to the address mentioned in the communication that you receive. Canada Post can be used for mailing the photos. The next step to carry out before boarding the flight is to download the ArriveCan app and fill the details in the same within 48 hours before your departure. Over the next few slides, a sample video of how to fill the details has been shown. Once you've downloaded the ArriveCan app and accepted the privacy policy, you will be prompted to log in or register for a new account. You should register using an email address that you check frequently. After logging in, you will be prompted to read some important instructions and thereafter will be asked to select the mode of travel to Canada. If you are traveling from the USA via road, you need to select Entry by Land. If you are taking a flight to Canada, you need to select Entry by Air. Scroll down and read the travel information provided by the Canadian government. This section can provide updated information about the present rules, given the frequently changing COVID guidelines. Once you select the mode of entry, you will find the list of steps you need to complete to get a receipt. New migrants need to select non-exempt travel and scroll down the list to select the option titled None of the Above. After this, you need to enter the flight details. The airport mentioned here is the last airport from which you enter Canada. This destination is also known as the port of entry. Your flight details include the airline, date and time of arrival at the selected airport. The next step includes entering your travel document details. It may either be entered by taking a photo of the document or entering the details manually. Once you complete this step, you will be prompted to enter the place you will stay while you complete your quarantine. As of the date of release of this video, you can be contacted via phone or address entered in the section ascertain whether you are following the quarantine procedure or not. Once the form is complete, 
you can obtain a receipt to present at the time of immigration. In cases where there are connecting flights within Canada, most immigrants are confused as to where their immigration process shall take place. In case of multiple stops within Canada, your immigration process takes place at the port of entry. In other words, the immigration process takes place at the final airport from where you step onto Canadian soil. For example, if you have a flight which stops in Canada being Toronto, Vancouver and Calgary, the immigration process will take place at Calgary. The next step is to fill the goods accompanying and goods to follow forms. Though details have been mentioned in a previous video, here are a few pointers to consider while filling these forms. Once the flight lands, you need to follow a couple of simple steps to complete your immigration process. Some additional steps may have been added due to COVID at present, but the overall process remains the same for all new immigrants. It is important to note that all Service Canada offices at airports have been closed due to COVID, so you will need to apply for SIN after completing your quarantine. Most airports have a kiosk near the exit where you can buy a SIM card. You should take advantage and buy a SIM card at the airport since you will need a Canadian phone number during quarantine to order groceries and or pre-cooked food from apps such as Instacart and Uber Eats. Listed here are some options to help you reach your short-term accommodation. Uber kiosks at the airport do not require a phone to be operated, but you should have various denominations of Canadian dollars to pay the exact fare. This applies to taxi and bus fare as well. Another often asked question is the car seat that one may need while reaching the short-term rental. The car seat needs to meet Canadian safety norms and bear the national safety mark to be considered safe enough to be used in Canada. This slide lists the types of car seat that you can buy in Canada. Even though a car seat is mandatory and cabs are supposed to refuse rides if you don't have one, this rule is often ignored by taxi drivers. Thank you for watching. Please check the video description for relevant links. In our next video, we shall discuss a three day plan wherein we shall list all the steps you need to take in order to ease into your new life in Canada. Stay tuned.